yo 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 what up kind of a random video picked up a, a new processor 16 core 32 thread this was an upgrade from a ryzen 5 3600x so it's a pretty beefy upgrade and i just have it in my pc here i did already do the install the bios upgrade and all that this is cooler master hyper evo 212 it's one of the most popular air coolers you can get they work really well, but once you start getting up to the Ryzen 9s, they start to put out a lot of heat, and that's kind of what I'm getting now. And just in doing normal idle bench tests and stuff, like the max temperature gets up to 85 Celsius, the average is 45. Right now it's 42, which isn't too, too bad. Uh, so the idle is not too crazy, but when I start to do a torture test with Prime 95, that's when the temperatures start to really increase. Um, we'll do one now just so we can see a difference. I did pick up this on Amazon It was on sale for 52 bucks or something like that. Everyone says the peerless assassin model From thermal right is really really good. This is their upgraded one with the 140 millimeter fan We're gonna put this on we're gonna do a little uh, I guess test this Dual tower versus just the OG single tower down there on the new Ryzen 9 5900XT. Got this thing for like 300 bucks. So picked up some of this high thermal conductivity thermal paste. I think my other stuff was eight watts. So we'll see if this is just a marketing scheme or if this actually works. But again, Prime 95 has only been running for not even a minute and we're already up to 85 Celsius. So. If we can get those temperatures lowered, that is the overall goal. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video here because I couldn't find too many videos on this cooler. That's all I thought. Hey, well, let's just do a little unboxing of it. Again, this is the Peerless Assassin 140 Black Edition. It does have the 140 millimeter fan here in the middle. I think the original is 120 and 120. So it should provide maybe a couple degrees better just with that little bit bigger fan. But this is for all of the a little bit more higher end uh, uh, CPUs like the Ryzen 9s, the i9s, uh, etc. For the price, this is a great deal from what I've seen. You have your uh, two fans. There's your uh, 140 mils. PWM controlled, 120 mil. I'm guessing these would be all of your different mounts. And then here is the actual cooler itself. You can see it's the dual tower compared to the single tower that's in my PC now. It has that nickel plate on the bottom, it looks like, and then the six pipes on the side. I think when this is installed, it will cover up your RAM, so it is significantly bigger than a single tower. Very nice, very nice. And then your fans would just go in your push-pull configuration, however you want to set it up. And then, yeah, so these are all of your different mounts. The motherboard mounts for Intel, AMD, and then you've got your little brackets to hold your fans to the actual radiators themselves. Anyways, I thought some people would like to see the unboxing and see the actual product before putting it in. All right, I'll jump back in once we start doing the install. It did come with its own thermal paste. Do not need to buy your own. The before, and it's installed. It's like twice the size. All plugged in, up in the office, everything's working. Just fit in that case, looking good. But right now the CPU temperature is at 41 Celsius. I was hoping it would be sub 40 with the new cooler and thermal paste. So let's start the Prime 95 now. So with the other cooler, we were seeing temperatures of 
85 right away going up to 87 celsius right away that's what we're seeing right now we're at 69 celsius prime 95 is going right now the torture test is running right now we're at 68 up on this one as well 68 73 jump up 71 so far we're at least 10 to 15 degrees lower than what we were at the beginning of the prime 95 test with the cooler master hyper evo 212 up in the 70s now but comparing it to the test that we did prior to now the same length i want to say and again, I don't want to say that this is considered a stress test because it was only running for a minute, but I want to say that's at least 10 degrees to 15 degrees cooler, which makes sense. This one's more appropriate for a Ryzen 9. The other one was more appropriate for a Ryzen 5. It's nice to see that test. It's nice to see that. Visuals, right? Visuals. Anyways, guys, that was my little unboxing, I guess. My little review of the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 140 millimeter the black edition peace love and cheers hey guys i'm back been running prime 95 now for like 15 minutes and i would say uh this was a success